are your thoughts on the recent opioid crisis and how has uh, how it has risen during the pandemic? Yes, well, when I first was given this assignment, I was very shocked at the number of overdose deaths that has occurred during this pandemic. And what it has shown to me is that as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has just spoken in the video, that we are now living in the end time and we're in the shock of the hour and the people now have no clues, no ideas of what to do and so their minds are stressed. They have no answer. They have no one to counsel them as these things intensify. So in order to escape the pain of the pestilence of coronavirus and the many plagues and earthquakes and weather that is now plaguing the world now, people in order to escape their pain now are turning more and more to drugs and the isolation of the coronavirus pandemic when we were all isolated only added to that problem. Absolutely. So brother Darrell, why do you think that death by overdose has become a major public health crisis in America? Well, according to an article that I read, this has happened because with the overwhelming of the coronavirus pandemic on the wealth care, on the healthcare system, I'm sorry, overpowered the healthcare system to the degree that all of those other uh, services that they provided for people who were dealing with um, opiate uh, addiction and drug addictions, they were now no longer able to receive those services, number one, because the coronavirus pandemic had overwhelmed the hospitals and public health care, and number two, because of the strict uh, isolations that we were all under, then there was no way to have uh, the items that people would give to these people in order to help them if they if they uh, came into an overdose or there were not uh, the, the, the isolation. And as I read, and when there was no one there with them in order to help them if they overdose, this has caused an increase in the overdose deaths. Wow. You know, we often relate drug addiction to poverty, but in San Francisco, which is a technology hub here in America, is, is one of the wealthiest cities in the country. It has become the epicenter for the West Coast of drug overdose pandemic. How is that? Well, if you look at this, the San Francisco is really a microcosm of what's going on in all of your major cities now. When you look at the San Francisco area, this is where the tech giants, the billionaires, and the new uh, ones who want to be billionaires are now located. So when you have a population of the people in San Francisco, where it is almost, from what I have read, impossible for the average poor working class person to stay there, when you want to make that a city for the rich, then you start to target the, the low income and the homeless. Now, the problem that they're having is among the homeless. And now the homeless now are being targeted with this drug called fentanyl. It's, it's, a, it's a drug that is uh, used by the medical scientists but however, when it is used and properly mixed with other drugs, then this causes a major effect. So now I read in the report that even the police don't even try to stop them from doing it now. Because, uh, you know, as we have been taught, and if you watch this in every major city, there's a drive to remove the poor so that the rich and those who desire to gain from capitalism can live. Wow. So, Brother Darrell, from a theological and prophetic or scriptural perspective, why do you think this is happening in America at this particular time period? 
Well, a part of this is, as Minister Farrakhan just said to us, it is a part of the shock of the hour. It is a part of the chastisement of Allah because of the rebelliousness of the people. And when this pain from this chastisement is overwhelming the people's mind, then the people are looking for methods of escape. And when they have no connection to God, when they have no connection to the spiritual side of themselves to help them to understand what is going on, this causes pressure on the brain, it causes pressure in the spiritual system, and it causes pain in the brain. So in order to escape the everyday realities that we are seeing and the chastisement of God and the people do not know what is going on, then they are turning to opiates and powerful drugs of which fentanyl is one from which I have read was 50 to 100 times more powerful than morphine in order to escape the reality of the painful reality that they see every day in everyday life. Wow, you know, that's some major, major information. You know, when we talk about drug addiction, um, quite often, you know, we think about ethnicity, we think about uh, uh, socioeconomic position, but these drugs have no no labels, and it's it appears that anybody can be targeted. How can both white and Black America reverse this terrible trend of death by drug overdoses? Well, if I may. I would suggest to all of us who are listening, Minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Harkin, he made a lecture in 1988, I believe, called The Problems in Relationship. And it is in this lecture that Minister Farrakhan went to the root of what causes the drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction, food addiction, he went to the very spiritual root of it, he said, because in each human being, we all have a biogenetic and chemical need. And when that biogenetic and chemical need is not met through proper relationships with your mother, proper relationships with your father, I mean, he traced it all the way back to when the sperm meets the egg, then the pain of these that these improper relationship produces now calls for the brain to call out to meet these uh, chemical needs that are natural, but which could be if the human being is connected to God and find his purpose for life, then these natural pleasure centers and the happiness that the human being is looking for can be found but it is only when we establish a proper relationship with our creator. Wow, that's, that, now that's, that's some deep science and some deep scientific talk. Well, let's, let, me, let me just throw a, a, a couple of more curveballs or questions at you. So given your analysis, analysis of the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan's speech and lecture, it, or would you, or given your assessment of it, are we saying that, you know, when we see children growing up and the fathers have been removed in many of the black households um, due to some aspects of uh, the welfare system and those types of things, are young men and young women in the inner cities of the United States of America where poverty is running rampant, are they more likely and more susceptible to engage in activity that will lead to drug addiction, that will lead to overdoses. Right. See, because many of us are looking for relief from pain. And as I said, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, it is these improper relationships with father, improper relationships with mother, improper relationship with husbands, improper relationship with husband, then we find no natural fulfillment with other human beings. And then we find no natural fulfillment 
because we're disconnected from God, who is the author of our sword, who is the sword, who is the author of our being and the gift that he puts in us. But when you look in the inner city, when all of the avenues of self-fulfillment is denied to our people, and then we do nothing but perpetuate the the uh, the the we just perpetuate. I'm looking for the proper word. We perpetuate the desolate situation from one generation to the next. Then there is nothing there to stop us from going on this perpetual motion. So until we can get into the inner cities and give our people purpose, connect them to God. We have to, as Minister Farrakhan said in the lecture, he said in order to fix this in the drug epidemic, the alcohol uh, epidemic, we really have to do away with the entire way that this approach to curing drugs and medicine, I mean drugs and uh, alcohol, it has to be totally done away with and a new way has to come. So until we get that, and we can take it to the people, then uh, we won't have this problem, but we have to take a new approach. And that approach has to be spiritual. All right. Stoop Minister Darren Muhammad, all the way from Macon, Georgia. Thank you for coming on this week. Let us pause for some announcements from our sponsors. When we come back, Hassan Muhammad will, give, will be on to give more advice on budgeting and keeping our money within our community. We'll be right back. Be a part of the force that powers truth in journalism. Your support helps to combat false media. Cash App NNV News. Greetings from National Network View. This week's final call cover story headline memorializes the late, great DMX. Last week, DMX's life was celebrated at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Large crowds gathered to honor the legend. They were there to remember a man who wasn't afraid to express his pain with the world. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan spoke via Zoom to the large audience. He delivered words of comfort, wisdom, and guidance to everyone under the sound of his voice. DMX will live on. This FCM volume number 29 edition features the middle page article as a transcript of what the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said at the memorial. To read more, subscribe to FinalCallDigital.com and tune in to the all-new Final Call Radio. This is the NNVNews.com Final Call Cover Report. This is Sister Sajda Muhammad. We are proud to announce that the Sajda House commemorative Elijah coins are finally here. This priceless heirloom made from recycled copper from the messenger's home is now available at sajdahouse.com. Please make sure you leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. Follow us on Facebook, National Network View, and make sure uh, to check us out on Twitter as well, National Network View. This is Sergio Gutierrez with National Network View, signing off.